In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find the equation of a trend line in Google Sheets. So we've got our data here, and you want to make sure that your data's got the X values in the first column and then the Y values in the next column. So we've got some time and temperature data here, so I want to plot this. So I'm gonna click on the top left, and then I'm gonna drag to highlight all of the data that I want to plot. Then I'm gonna select Insert, and then go down to Chart, and it will automatically default to perhaps the wrong type of chart. I've got a line chart here, and that's not what I want. So I want to change that. So we've got Chart Type here, and we want to select the scatter. So I'm gonna select this one here, and we've now got a scatter graph. This will then bring up the chart editor like this, and it's the right form. If you don't see the chart editor, what you can do is double click on some points and it will bring this back up. So what we want to do now is go to the Customize menu, and then look where it says Series. So let's open up Series. You will then get various options and you want to scroll down until you see trend line. So if you tick trend line, it will draw on a trend line and it will default to linear. And that's perfect for this data. If you want something else, you've got various options that may work better for your particular data set. You then want to go down to where it says labels. And then if you select use equation, it will show that equation on the graph. You can also show the R squared value if you want to work out how good your trend line actually is. One is perfect. And then as you move away from one, the value for the R squared um, is showing you that it's not such a great line of best fit. Here we've got the 3.53x. That is the gradient or the slope. And then we've got 24, which is the y-intercept. And that matches up with the zero point here because it's quite a good line of best fit. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below for more videos teaching you how to do various things. And finally, thank you very much for watching.